Hi, my name's Jennifer Collier and I'm going to show you how to make a printed t-shirt like this today. What I've done to make this t-shirt is I've actually made a paper collage of my artwork using all sorts of found and recycled materials. I've simply got an A5 piece of card and I've glued these all over it. Then what I'll do is I'll actually scan it on my computer so that I've taken an image from this and that I'm actually going to print off onto a special type of paper which is called heat transfer paper. You can buy this from most supermarkets and stationery shops and it's just a different type of paper to print it onto. This is the side would print on the white side and you know that because the sides have got lines all over it. So I'd pop it in my printer, I would print it off, but an important thing to do is to actually mirror image your work on the computer. And you can do this by clicking on the paper setting or clicking on mirror image. So you can see that these are the opposites. And the reason I do this is so my writing comes out backwards. So when I transfer it, it'll come out the right way round. So what I will then do, I will either get a t-shirt that I've bought or it might be that you actually want to recycle a t-shirt that you've already got. As long as it's a pale colour, then this will work. So it needs to be either white or a very pastel pale colour like this. What I will then do is I will lay my image onto the t-shirt and I'm going to put it in the middle where you would normally have a motif on a t-shirt like this. I'm going to fold this greaseproof paper over the top just to protect all of my work and then using a very hot iron I'm going to iron over it so get your teacher or your parent to help you do this and they will iron over concentrating on the edges of the corners till it's completely stuck this will probably take about 10 minutes and make sure you press quite firmly so that happens and you'll know when it's done because it will be completely stuck onto the t-shirt you won't be able to peel it off So once that's completely ironed, and this, as I said, will take about 10 minutes, pressing quite firmly, and I'm just going to check that all the corners are stuck. I'm going to pop the iron off, because I've finished with that, and then once this is cooled down, so I'm just going to shake it for a second so it's cooled down, and then I can actually peel this special paper, this heat transfer paper, off. And my, you can see how my image is completely stuck onto my t-shirt like that but what you might want to do to make this even more exciting you might actually want to think about stitching into it which I've started on this one here I've actually used real buttons here that have been stitched onto the surface little bows so I've actually got my needle and thread and I have come through the back of the fabric so I've got all my sewing on the messy side I've got my needle and thread and I'm going to go up through the back of the fabric through the ribbon like so and just back down through there and if I tie that on a knot it means that that won't fall off and I'm just going to tie it on a knot on the back and I can cut my thread off and you can see that I end up with this beautiful t-shirt that's actually completely wearable and it's now machine washable as well. So you can do lots of different designs using this technique.